Catherine Kenny? Present. Angie Quinn? Here. Thad Taylor? Here. Dennis Otto? Here. Lee Trucks? Yes. <clears throat> Approval of agenda. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Conflict of interest. Does anyone have a conflict of interest they want to declare at this time? Approval of minutes. You've been submitted with the minutes for the last meeting. Any additions, corrections? Move to approve. Support. Move and supported to approve. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Public comment. Public comment on the agenda items. New business. None. Old business, Joe Matheson. We have an application for a certificate of appropriateness. I don't think we've ever had before. Yes. Fine. Yeah, I noticed that after the fact. That's something I can get him to sign. That's something I should have caught when he had turned it in. Um, he said he would be here. He was really adamant that his contractor would be here and he had his ideas. I don't know. I talked to him yesterday. He said he would be here. Um, as you guys can see from the memo, he had contacted me right after and the city attorney had advised that even getting into circuit court would take several months. So, you know, I know we've given him a lot of chances, but with him having contacted me, I thought maybe one more chance, but I mean, I, I don't know <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's yeah. A lot of talk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, he had dropped off like a sample and had his estimates and he seemed, you know, really ready to get this taken care of so I'm not sure what what went wrong the city attorney is still going to pursue something in circuit court yeah I let him know that this would be like the final chance um, and that I would let him know after the meeting if we need to pursue that um, so do we discuss his application or I mean I guess it's up to this commission if that's if you guys wanted to discuss it and um, look to approve or deny it, I recognize that he didn't really provide renderings, but with his contractor here and the descriptions he provided, I was hoping that that would be enough for you guys to be able to grant him approval. I'm, I'm um, not, I'm not personally, I'm not comfortable, you know, approving it. Number one, it's unsigned. Yeah. Number two, you know, I just hate to go with what he's presented us. I would rather hear from he or his builder, his mm -hmm. contractor, answering questions right. the commission might have. So I would say, you know, looking at the application, I really don't have any idea what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's a description of the windows. Apparently, he's going to put windows in those same places where they are now. That slide. But there are sliders. It's, that's so funny because my reading of it, it sounds like it says he's replacing him, but on one side of this, and then on the other side, um, they're basically going to uh, install a four inch trim, trim board around the perimeter of the two existing windows. And then somewhere else, he says he's, they're going to take out the, the little say, the munions. munions that are in there right now. Um, I, it would be really nice to actually see an actual measure. Because yeah. I, I, I think what we all said, um, you know, when he was here with us was it, that what he was describing and what he was showing us wasn't appropriate. We explained to him what was appropriate mm -hmm. and asked him to come back with something. And it may be, but I can't tell from these documents. Right. Yeah, I mean, with him not having shown up, I, I think that it would be appropriate to just 
put this to bed and give it to the attorney. He's had, this has been something that we've been dealing with since I took over for the city. Let's see. I know that the goal is compliance, but it's. 29th, 2021 was the first time it showed up on the Historic District Commission agenda. Well, and that wasn't even the first time because it was um, talking with my director when he actually was the city zoning administrator at the time when a stop work order was put on this um, construction. So that would have been uh, four zoning administrators ago. Do we have anybody who wants to take any action on this application at this point? I would say. Can I ask a question also, though? Because if he does come back with, with a more complete application from what he's presented to us, I am concerned that he wants to put a final siding. I was just. I would. I, I don't know. I would suggest we just table this to the next meeting and at the same time, you know, um, indicate to the city uh, attorney that we want him to pursue legal action. But, you know, if it, I understand it's going to take a long time to get through circuit court, but mm -hmm. if we, you know, give him an opportunity to make good before circuit court, I'm okay with that too. But, okay. But I think we, we need to do both. Give okay. him the opportunity to come back, but. Uh, have the city attorney initiate that circuit court action and that might in if that's initiated maybe that will get him to take it a little bit more seriously yeah maybe maybe there's some incentive for him to do it I don't know but uh, I, I don't want to act on it now I would just table it to the next meeting and if he shows up is time, that a motion so moved Support been moved and supported that we table this until the next meeting, but provide this information to the city attorney for whatever action he mm -hmm. feels appropriate on. I can confirm it with the city attorney, but. Yeah. Sorry. Go, you can no, I was just going to say, from what I gathered, I don't think that um, like this commission would be taking action if it's going to circuit court. I think it's just going to court at that point. I don't know, and I can I can confirm that with him, but um, I feel like the way he described it, once the ball's rolling with that, you know, it will just be in circuit court. I don't know that, and maybe we can, like, pull, yeah, we're done with it. So yeah. he's not recommending dual action? I don't believe so, but I can confirm that, because um, I didn't really pose it to him that way. If, you know, if it's pursued in circuit court and things are cleaned up in that time can we pull that back he was more so explaining it in a way that if we go for circuit court you know that once that ball's in motion that is going to be and then they the decide on mm -hmm. the outcome yeah and we're done with it mm -hmm. that would be nice too <laughs> well yes and no i mean ultimately I'm a little bit confused about the discussion here my understanding of your motion was that for informational purposes we would give the City Attorney, a copy of this just to know what. No, Joe I was. Has I was. Done. I was talking two parallel paths, oh, okay. where we would table this to the next meeting, but also instruct the City Attorney to take whatever necessary actions to get this going in Circuit Court. And um, if that's not what he wants, I, I don't see why it would hurt us. Nancy, what do you have as a motion? That's what I have. I have two motion. I have two parts in the motion. Do you want to amend that? <clears throat> yeah, I I think if if we're tabling this to the next meeting, there there needs to be an, a, someone needs to advise Mr. Matthews that we need a drawing of what he is proposing because the the, the way it is right now, it's it's even the documents themselves contradict each other. So there just needs to be something, there, there needs to be clarity, whether that comes from him or it comes as a result of circuit court action. It would be nice if, you know, we had more clarity in the terms in terms of drawings, but have, I'd like to see his contractor here to explain mm -hmm. what's going to happen. And didn't we ask him to come forward with renderings mm -hmm. specifically, yes. very mm -hmm. specifically? Specifically did, yes. On September 7th of 2022, there was a motion to extend the deadline until the next meeting in October for drawings in an application. We have a motion on the floor. Do you have any comments that are directly related to that? 
My, my only comment or question is, is uh, Katie, what would happen if the city attorney says we can't do them both? Um, well, I guess that's a question for the board. If you guys still want him to pursue circuit court action at that time, if he says, you know, it's going to be one or the other, tabling it and giving him another chance or just going forward with circuit court. Um, hi, Joe. He Personally, I would be happy if we just let this drop. He's here. What do you mean by that? No action. Which is complicated by the fact that Mr. Matheson has now feared. What is the pleasure of the board? Would it be best if I withdraw my motion until we heard from Mr. Matheson? Or just continue on? I personally would like to move forward. Yeah. Would you like something to withdraw your motion? No, I won't. I wouldn't, but I'd like you to uh, call for the question. Have the roll taken on the motion. All right. Can we have a vote on the motion? Repeat the motion, please. The motion is to, let me find it first here, to table this until the next meeting and present it to the city attorney to look for necessary action. In circuit court, yeah. Have a roll call vote. Bill Connor? No. Ron Hembolt? Yes. Catherine Kenny? Yes. Angie Quinn? Yes. Thad Taylor? Yes. Dennis Otto? No. Lee Trucks? No. Okay, there are three no's and four, four yeses. We are uh, tabling this till the next meeting. Um, could it, could uh, our staff person remind the applicant that we need to see rankings? Is that a motion? I think so, yes. I support that motion. We instruct the staff person to instruct the applicant that we need to see rankings. We're going to have discussion. Is that a second? Uh, yes. Okay. Discussion. I, I would just ask that uh, the motion all also include to have the applicant's contractor appear at the meeting to answer any questions that the uh, commission might have. Angie, could you repeat that again? It was a little hard to hear you. Sure. My my motion was to um, ask staff to advise the applicant to provide renderings. Um, at the next meeting, since we are tabling it until the next meeting. Yeah. Signed application. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We have a roll call vote. Just a second. Did you want to amend your motion to include? Oh, the contractor. Yeah, sorry. I, I thought that she got the amendment. Sorry. To have staff advise the, the applicant to a supply rendering until the next meeting and to include his contractor in with this rendering. I think that include the contractor um, to present. appear to appear. To appear. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. I think that's just going to be a more discussion yeah. that Katie can mm -hmm. take care of. I don't have any more. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. 
Okay, moving on. Amendment zoning ordinance signs. And I, I emailed you all to let you know I did not get a chance to finish that review, and I, I apologize. I have Katie's excellent photos, and I have been able to create a database. I just haven't had a chance to go out and finish it up and finish looking at the photos that you supplied. So mm -hmm. I will have that for next month. And the memo included in your agenda packet is just um, the same memo that had been provided previously. I guess I'll move that we table this item as well to a subsequent meeting when the information is available. Second. So moved and seconded to table this item until the next meeting when we have the information available. Okay. Um, I did do some research on the two ordinances, the guidelines for the Historic District Commission, and so I don't know if you want me to wait until the next meeting to discuss it, or if, if now would be appropriate. I think that what would be appropriate would be for us to deal with the motion which is on the floor. Okay. Unless you want to read. Uh, remove it and so we can have a discussion. I, I don't particularly want to remove it. I, I guess it doesn't, it seems to me like they should be dealt with in the same discussion rather be. than a separate discussion now and then. All right, we have a uh, motion to table this until the next meeting when we have more complete information. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Permit review. There's not a whole lot new on here. Um, I did remove the Gordon and Rosmeric permits that were expired on there. Um, and then the only new one, which is already marked as complete, is the, so the library does like a downtown story stroll where they post um, pages of a book in the windows of participating businesses. So given the mass mailing that went out and the recent enforcement on window signs in the HDC, uh, the ladies at the library were on top of things and I did one overarching permit that was issued to the library that gives them approval and it, this one was signed off by um, Mark Fetter that gives them approval to post their um, book pages in the window for their downtown stro story stroll and it's essentially um, a page of a children's book at like 13 different businesses right now and there's a QR code and it, it'll give you kind of the path to go so it's uh, kind of a community uh, based program that the library does so they'll have approval to do those postings um, as long as that program continues and I believe she wants to change out the books quarterly so it's kind of a fun little downtown thing and they made sure they got under permit so that that's really the only new one um, that was on there from our last meeting do you have any update on the I think it's 411 the Gordon property of 411 um yes yeah, so I did email the city attorney and asked him if there was anything outstanding with those properties and he said the issues in the judgments that were entered in the two files were addressed and our files are closed so the city has closed the files on um whatever open enforcement was on the gordon and rosmeric properties does that mean there's no further action that's going to take in terms yep. of uh, construction from from what I understand, yeah, they've they've satisfied what the courts required and what oh, what they've those satisfied it. Yeah, he said that the the cases are closed with the city. So um, whatever judgment the city had entered with um, with those property owners, everything has been. So the plywood will remain and all that. <clears throat> um, On four eleven. I guess I can. I'm not sure if that was part of it, if the plywood is to remain. I'll follow up on that. My examination, there's only a couple of small, smaller pieces of plywood that are required at this point. I don't feel myself we should pursue it any further. I'm sure that they'll get their glass 
eventually of getting in there. But Next 10 years? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the kind of eyesore that it was before. True, absolutely right. It's an interior walkway area. Yeah. All right, moving on. Is there anything more as permit, permit review? Okay, public comments on communications concerning items not on the agenda. Correspondence? None. DDA report? Museum curator? None. Planning and zoning administrator? Um, not necessarily report, but I just had a little um, update. Well, not really an update either, but I had sent out an email for training for 2022, part of the RRC certification in the city, and I did not hear back from Angie, Catherine, or Ron. Did you participate in any historic district uh, commission related training during the year of 2022 any of you no no okay um, I will mark that accordingly and then uh, Angie or someone I, I thought it was Angie asked specifically about the budget for um, the historic district commission as it relates to being able to do like maybe something with the brochure and whatnot and so the HTC has $700 in the budget a um, hundred is for advertising and operating which I assume is for posting for vacancies um, and then 500 for training and a hundred for the Michigan Historic Pre Preservation Network so there's not necessarily monies budgeted for um, projects now if that's something that we want to look to change in the future um, we can take that to the city manager and see if there's, um, you know, room in the budget to add something for projects or, um, you know, something like the brochure. But what if training could be called education, and we could use those that funding to educate our stakeholders. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can pose that um, to the city. Yeah. It, I'm curious, and, and I, I know um, when I served on a different uh, district commission um, that that was a question that was asked every year because mm -hmm. I think um, continuing education is something yeah. that, um, you know, you, you do have to report back to the State Historic Preservation Office in some way, shape, or form. I mean, I mm -hmm. think you're asking that question because the answer goes somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. So it might be a question to them, you know, how much of that could be used for not only our education, but community education. If, if yeah. the commission wants to, you know, add, add something for projects, now's the time to do it because they're in the budget process mm -hmm. for, for the 23, 24, maybe mm -hmm. throw in like 500 bucks mm -hmm. in for projects or however you want to name it. So we don't have to rob training all the time. Missions never use the $500 training. I don't think so. No, although I'm thinking about going to a conference. Now. <laughs> and that's all I have for staff reports. Thanks, Gary. Thank mm -hmm. you. Should we open up the floor for um, some action in terms of approaching the city about budgeting something more than? my mind, we really haven't had much in training since and I think probably it's a good thing. I know that Alan from Shippo also indicated that he'd be happy to come in and do, um, you know, a Q&A with you guys, discussion, talk about specific topics when he is around this area, if that's something you're interested in. We briefly talked about it when I first took over my role and I initially was communicating with him and I have, we haven't really, you know, discussed anything specific, but he did mention that that was something he'd be happy to do. Um, and that could be kind of a more, you know, free training opportunity to an extent. I can see if he 
charges, but I'm sure he'd be happy to come in and talk about specific topics if you guys had anything in mind. And then another thing I actually did want to ask about, I do get um, emails from Shippo, from Alan, and then from the National Preservation Society, I believe. Do you guys get those emails? Because, no. Oh, no, you do not. I okay, do. you do. You go online and register for them for the okay. newsletters. Well, I will make sure to get that information to you guys because I know, um, yeah, every once in a while they'll have webinars and such that you guys could attend on on your own and utilize that training budget. If does that count as training? Because I've done those. <laughs> so. I mean, I would I would think so for for the RRC certification. Um, I'm sure they are, they're just looking for any and everything. Um, I'll reply to your email. Okay, sounds good. I wasn't quite sure what qualified as training. Right. Yeah, it's, I think that anything that's relative, um, really, because they don't have specific requirements or agencies on there that you're supposed to be reporting training for. It's have more to be accredited. Right. It's more so just like an overarching for in that RRC um, where we report everything, what training have, have your boards and commissions attended? They don't have real criteria for it. So yeah, I think that would definitely count. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, that's actually all I had for staff reports. <laughs> Any more member discussion? Uh, Lee, just I want to note, I will be absent for the March meeting. We travel. As will I. Is anybody else going to be gone Mar for March? Because I might be. I, I don't know yet. It's up in the air. Depends on how much ice. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's possibility. Yeah. But there are, if there's going to be five, we'll be all right. Okay, noted. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I actually have something else to discuss. Um, the city, I believe, has been advertising two vacant seats on the Historic District Commission. And I've reapplied. I'm just curious whose seats are expiring. Do I we think, know? You know, because then they, we used to have nine and originally way back when. Really? What, we would have to look at this, but at one point, we discussed increasing the size of the board to nine. Uh, and that passed the board, but it had to be submitted to the to the city council, and involved a change in the the charter of uh, you know the HDC, which I don't think ever happened. At least if it ever happened, I never knew about it. So my understanding is that it's still at seven, but I'm not sure about that. And. I don't know, um, I'm not even sure when my term expires, so that's one of the reasons I'm asking. Is there... Well, the, the city does notify people when their terms expire. Oh, okay. All right. Although they're pretty spotty on that, too. <laughs> what? They're pretty spotty on the <clears throat> fine. I was, I was on the commission for several months <laughs> after my term had expired before. <laughs> I didn't know what no one told me. So. so is there a place on our page maybe on the city website where we can list the expiration date? I know that Nancy has the expirations listed on our contact list. That's something that the city clerk does facilitate the vacancies for the boards and notifications and such. But I can follow up with Heather and take a look at our contact list and we can resend that out to everyone because that should have everyone's term expiration. On well, it. I guess I'm looking at it right now in the back of my book. <laughs> Is it in there? So yes. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, I was filling a um, a, a partial term, so mm -hmm. mine mine was up already when okay. I just came on. Is there anything else up? You. Me. Yeah, you better reapply. <laughs> You're on chair. I think it's already in the email I got. You. So the two vacancies are probably for those for your two positions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Stoll. Thank you for talking through that with me. <laughs> Anything else? Move we adjourn. Second. <laughs>